Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Axel Grave coming at you with more reactions with an X. And today uh, we're continuing on our Ruby journey, this time doing episode 9 in season 5. Uh, I hope you enjoyed last episode where we had the whole thing with Blake. I was super impressed with that episode. I feel like it showed a bunch of character development for uh, both Weiss and Blake, who are characters I felt like hadn't necessarily always had the most character development from when we first saw them, just in my personal opinion. Uh, in addition, uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying, you know, that last episode, hopefully in full opacity. I'm not sure if it got past the filters. We've been trying to work stuff out with Ruby and the content copyright thing. So if it got through, awesome. If not, and I had to re-upload it in different opacity and stuff, I apologize for that. That sucks. But we, we are slowly getting it through in the dispute process. Usually they would like go through and then deny my dispute. But lately they've finally taken some time and like uh, pushed it through. It just takes like a couple days, usually four days. I mean, it's supposed to take two, but I get take four. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to continue trying to get you the best Ruby quality. If you do want to see all those Rubies, I'm going to be trying to put them up on the Patreon, like full, full, big episodes, like seasons at a time with no cuts and opacity and stuff. Uh, and, you know, you can check out those links below. Check it out. The links below in the Discord to come chat with us. And yeah, enough blabbering on from me. Let's get on to the episode. As always, we skip the intro because I don't like to see the spoilery spoilers. This time I won't forget to move the square. I promise. Ah, Raven and her currently red sword, which can't she change it with her little sheath? Well, little is not little. I mean, yeah. Hmm. They planned for it. I wonder how strong Raven is compared to these people. He's got two heads and then Cinder's two. Can't move. I know all about the game. And I don't believe you can yet. Are you the guy who should be afraid of? I doubt any of us should be afraid of you. But if you are, well done for trying. <laughs> He was about to say something about Yang, and she would have killed him for it. I bet you. So they're her disciples. <laughs> she's, a she's a smart one. <laughs> so she, I mean, we already knew that she was because of the f intro intros. Also, I mean, it was heavily kind of implied that she's the only like recurring character with really a name in the bandit camp. So we would hope, I would hope in the t sense of 
you we've talked about it and people are giving shit about having experience this chick having run off of raven how much how many years of experience does she have i can't remember i know crow mentioned it but i can't remember the exact amount of years because i'm bad with history and time numbers of years is not my big thing So she should have more practice with her power than Cinder does, unless she wasn't using it purposefully so Salem wouldn't notice her. I'm a fighter, I like to fight, so. Yeah, they got all the steps here, honestly. They're working behind the scenes pretty good. I really want to see him fight, but I have a feeling she won't because she's more prudent than that. Well, if you back people into the corner, though, that might make the fight. Oh, let's see. They're going to put it on till later, probably, the show. I don't think he trusts Ironheart anymore. So what she might be doing is trying to get them in the same area as Crow so she has another fighter. Yeah, I figured they were going to try to do it all at once. The Spring Maiden doesn't seem too happy about it, but...
Somehow I have a feeling that her personal feelings may get in the way of the overall plan. As that's what personal feelings usually do. Ah, yes, back here. I'm still so proud of Blake. You guys have no... I just watched the other ones. That you can tell by the shirt. But, oh, man. So is he monkey, wolf? I'd, I guess wolf. Oh, and the barehanded fighter. Oh. See, they're not graphic in this one. That's one thing I wish they were. Uh oh, he's gonna get shot from the side. Hey! Get him, son! Kick his face! Oh, they're pretty confident. Ah, that's because they have a combo attack. Come on. They're frozen, huh? Hey, take it as uh, the damn camera. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it just K's in the middle of episodes, man. It really pisses me off lately. Like, that thing was fully charged, guys. You got it. So, we probably only have time for one or two of these, and then... We just absolutely have to switch over. They probably did. And there we go. And I'm all out of focus again. Hell no. Yeah, she's smart. Good. She is a real villain. I'm so happy to hear that. And she's not stupid. Ah. I like Raven. She's a logical person. Sometimes a little too logical or not logical in some ways. Uh, I'll give an example on one of our talk sessions or something of why she's too logical in some ways or not logical enough. I have a feeling that she might take that's an interesting line there that could be construed as her having met with them and betraying Raven which Interesting music. Uh oh. <laughs> Funny voice. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't laugh at that. All right, and now I'm not saying you have to kill your former friend who is now a villain, but I'm saying that, you know, that might have to be an option, okay? You may have to strike them down. Hopefully not. Huh, huh, huh? Of course, I, I hate it when the camera K is like a minute before the video ends. Thank you guys. I'm really liking where it's going. Once again, the, the girls are growing up. They're not falling prey to the foolishness of traps and stuff. Raven, 
is a tough one for me to read, but she is super pragmatic and smart, which leads her to usually make at least semi right choice. Once again, uh, uh, the thing about her not being logical enough sometimes, so for example, right, uh, she doesn't fight against Cinder because you can't, or not Cinder, Salem because you can't beat Salem, right? She's forever, doesn't die. But, you know, that's like not trying to like stop death or from happening because everybody dies eventually, which is the truth. But we still work together to do medicine and come together to food and form societies in order to like stave off that as long as possible. So there's there's like lines to it. Um, but I do like that she knows how Salem is. I like that Salem is that way, that she's like a real villain that's like views people as like pawns and pieces and just tosses them aside when she's has no use for them. That's really cool for me. I like that stuff. Those for me are the best villains. Uh yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. As always, you can get early access to these by checking out our Patreon. You can also get some exclusive content. Check out the anime we do, the comics we do, the music we do, the gaming. There's all kinds of different stuff you can check out on there if you want to. Come and chat it up with us in our Discord. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Reactions with the next. See ya. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.